ഹലോ മൈ ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ടുഡേ ഐ വാണ്ട് ടു ടോക്ക് ടു അബൌട്ട് ഉത്തരായന ആൻഡ് ദക്ഷിണായന അസ് യു ഓൾ നോ ദർ ആർ ടു ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് അയനാസ് ഫോർ ദ എർത്ത് അയനാസ് മീൻസ് മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ഉത്തരായന ആൻഡ് ദക്ഷിണായന ഓർ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് സൺ ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് പൊസിഷൻ ട്വൈസ് എവറി ഇയർ ദീസ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ആർ നോൺ എസ് ഉത്തരായൻ ദർ ഈസ് സമ്മർ solstices and dakshinayan winter solstices it begins from day of magara sankranti which is considered as a symbol of positivity in this period sun travels from capricorn to cancer that is south to the north during uttarayan days are longer and night are shorter this northward movement of the sun from winter to summer solstice consists of three seasons winter spring and summer in uttarayan period the climate will change to cooler to hotter but dakshinayan is just opposite of uttarayan in this period when sun travel back from cancer to capricorn that is from north to the south as sun travels to the southern direction the journey of the sun is known as dakshinayan dakshin means south ayan means movement in this period rainy season autumn season and winter season will comes this period begins from june 21st according to hindu scripture uttarayan is a period when sun travels from south to the north which is known as magar sankranti Uttarayan has much longer days and shorter nights longer days and shorter nights Uttarayan comprises of winter spring and summer and Uttarayan begins from 22nd of December and last for 6 months till June 21st approximately winter solstice is also called as dakshinayan this dakshinayan comprises of winter autumn and monsoon winter autumn and monsoon during dakshinayan sky is filled with clouds dakshinayan usually begins on 21st of the june and it will ends on approximately 22nd of december dakshinayan is associated with quite longer night and shorter days i think now you know about what is uttarayan and dakshinayan thank you